let's start with the topic conductance in electrochemistry conductance is the reciprocal of resistance now resistance is equal to rho l by a now rho is the called the resistivity of the substance now 1 by c conductance is the reciprocal of resistance so 1 by c is equal to 1 by kappa into l by a now kappa is the specific conductivity of the solution now l by a is known as the cell constant cell constant what l means the length of the electrodes and a is the area of cross section of electrodes now kappa is equal to c l by a or we can write c into g star g star is actually the cell constant which remains constant whether it contain any solution now kappa is the specific conductivity which depends on number of ions in 1 cm cube of solution it means when we dilute the solution number of ions in 1 cm cube will decreases so on dilution specific conductivity decreases okay now the other terms in conductivity are molar conductivity and equivalent conductivity now molar conductance or conductivity is equal to kappa into 1000 over m it means the conductive uh, conductance of the solution of one mole of an electrolyte equivalent conductivity is uh, equal to kappa into 1000 over n n it means normality of the solution now uh, let's uh, take an example like the specific conductivity of 0.02 molar ki solution at 25 degree celsius is given like 2.78768 into 10 raised to power minus 3 now resistance of the solution of the same solution when measured is 0 uh, 250.2 ohm now the resistance of suppose we take another solution like copper sulfate the resistance of 0.01 molar copper sulfate within the same cell at the same conditions is 8331 ohm now first we have now we have to find out the molar conductance of the solution now in the first case we have given kappa is 2.768 into 10 raised to power minus 3 and molarity is given the resistance of the solution is also given now kappa is equal to cg star so we first we find out the cell constant which remains constant whether we contain any solution now g star is equal to kappa into r which is equal to 2.768 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 250.2 which is given in the question now we use this g star in the second case for finding out the molar conductance of the solution which is being asked so kappa is equal to first we find out the molar specific conductance of the second solution now specific conductance is equal to 1 by 8331 why 1 by 8331 because uh, kappa is equal to g star over r so 1 by 8331 resistance of uh, copper sulfate is 8331 ohm so 1 by 8331 into 2.7 matlab what is uh, whatever we have calculated the value of g star 2.768 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 250.2 now after finding out the kappa we uh, can use this kappa into for finding out the molarity or like uh, molar conductance of the solution the molar conductance is equal to kappa into 1000 over m the molar uh, molarity is given copper sulfate uh, the molarity of copper sulfate is 0.01 so we put this in the formula and we can find out the value of uh, molar conductance now molar conductance and equivalent conductance can also be related like why because molar conductance is related to molarity and equivalent conductance is related to normality so which is equal to z into molar conductance is equal to z into e, uh, lambda equivalent 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 conductance uh, now the z is the uh, z is the number of electron uh, like z is the n factor n factor which we takes for the for converting normality into molarity now n factor depends on the substance which we are taking suppose it is an acid so n factor is the number of h plus ions if we take the base num uh, n factor is the number of oh minus ions if we take any uh, any electrolyte n factor is the n factor is the valency of that electrolyte 